The 3A North representative, the Zebras from Rochester, will take on Princeton this weekend for the 3A state championship. Rob Malco, the head coach of the 23 and 3 Zebras. First of all, coach, a simple congratulations on making it to Conseco Fieldhouse in the state finals. Well, thank you. Um, it's just been uh, an incredible ride to this point, and it's uh, going so quickly. It feels like a, whirl a whirlwind in many ways, but we're just trying to embrace the challenge and soak it up and, and, uh, and uh, see where this leads us and looking forward to Saturday. You've won six games in a row here in the postseason, eight games overall. Give us a feel for your team and what you're bringing to Indianapolis. Well, we're, we're a team that uh, we're not very very tall. Uh, we, we don't play with our with our back to the basket very well. We're more of a jump shooter, a jump shooting style of team. We take pride in taking care of the basketball. Um, we, we feel like we defend very, very well. And, uh, you know, I think what you'll see is a, a bunch of guys who come out and compete at a high level. And I, I think you could probably say that for about everybody that's here. Uh, you got to have competitive kids to, to go through the tournament as, as all have done. But, um, you know, we're, we're similar in that way, and, and uh, we're going to come out Saturday and, and bring everything we can to try and win. At this level of play, it's interesting to see just one double-figure score on a team, but what, what a player he's been. It's Bruce Grimm, Jr. He's been averaging over 25 points a game for you. Talk about him and what he brings for your team. Well, he, he's just been phenomenal all year long. He, uh, he is a player who is our point guard, yet uh, in averaging 25-some points a game, uh, he is not selfish. Uh, he's not about the points. He's about winning. Um, he leads us in rebounds. He leads us in assists. There have been games where uh, if it was required, he'll get 10 or 11 assists and uh, 18 points. And if uh, he feels he can score, he'll put 30 on you. And as long as we win, that's all he cares about. So, you know, he's an Indiana all-star caliber player. Uh, he's a guy that, uh, that has been a joy to coach and a blessing to the program. And, and I'm just glad I get to coach him one more week, one more game. The team takes more than one guy, though. We want to hear about some of these other players that compliment him and play alongside of him. He has uh, two classmates, Brody Shane, one of our, our, our shooters on our team, a uh, very athletic young man, uh, and Austin Lowe, who is really our, our defensive stopper. Uh, he's a 6'2 uh, kid who is an unbelievable athlete and a very competitive guy. And, uh, you know, all year long we've really kind of uh, – gone through him on the defensive side of the ball and there have been games that we've uh, been very very good in because of the defense and and he's led that uh, we've got some underclassmen we mix in Colt Meadows who's arguably uh, our toughest player uh, mentally and physically and how he competes and uh, he can knock down the three and, and makes you play him honest on the perimeter and uh, maybe as quick a guy as we got and that's with Bruce on our team um, Mark Bowers who uh, is a uh, played point guard or off guard his whole career is our starting center and uh, has adapted very well and uh, really has been very good at finding ways to rebound and, and, and score 6-8, maybe even have a 10-point game as he did in the regional final. And uh, he just has a uh, almost a student mentality about the game and has improved so much as the season has gone on. Let me ask you about expectations this year. 23-3 and to make it to Indianapolis – is this surprising in any way, and how have the fan base, how have they reacted to this team? The fan base has been phenomenal. Uh, we, as the season played out, and, and you could see we were going to be good, I think one of the things about my team this year is there's so much fun to watch. I hear that more than anything, how much they enjoy watching these guys play. And so every game, it seems more and more people started coming as our record showed uh, the success. And um, the sectional final, the regionals, and the, and the semi-state, our fans have been um, just great, uh, almost to the point where, just like in the regional final and semi-state, you know, going in the fourth quarters, we were down uh, by a couple points in each game, and, and our crowd would almost, the emotion of it, would keep us going. And, and uh, you know, the guys found ways to make plays. The crowd responded, and it's been fun to be a zebra here, here in the last month. And the expectation level this year, was this something you could have predicted or saw coming? Well, we, we, you know, coaching staffs, I think, know their teams and what's coming as well as anybody. And we knew we were going to be good. We knew with Bruce, you know, I would have to really screw things up as a coach to, to not at least compete. Um, and that's always a fear. But uh, we found a way to overcome some things uh, uh, as, a, as a size-wise with this team. And, 
we went out and changed our offense a little bit and how we attack people because prior to this year we've been very physical um, and we knew that this team wasn't going to be physical and so we've adapted offensively and defensively and and uh, boy I tell you with our quickness and speed these guys have just been tremendous and uh, we thought we'd be good but I can't tell you that I thought we'd be at Conseco but we're glad to be here. Thanks coach. Okay thank you.